Hey everybody, Bungzi here with another ultralight review on ultralight backpacking. Today I have a recommendation for you on how to best line your pack. I have a new liner strategy which I'm really excited about and I'll get you there by quickly walking you through my pack liner evolution, shall we? So, like many other backpackers, I first had to get over my stuff sack phase. Everything had its own stuff sack, it was exhausting. I admit it, I had a stuff sack phase. I then moved on to just using one large pack liner. I started with a glorified trash compactor bag. In particular, I used the one sold by Gossamer Gear. I have links to this and all the products I'll mention in my video description. So why didn't this strategy stick? What was wrong, quote unquote, with this pack liner? Well, I personally put a priority on peace of mind. I value fuss-free gear strategies, and what I found that the hard way is that you have to baby these plastic bags. It's doable, but again, the, the less gear I have to baby or worry about, the better. Stuff too aggressively, and you can pretty easily poke a hole in these bags. And the problem with waterproofing is that a tear in the wrong spot is all you need in an extended rain or a water crossing or a wet tent or other gear in your pack or even just a sweaty back to create a decent wet spot in a sleeping bag or whatever happens to be in the wrong spot. So I moved on to Cuban, the fabric of the backpacking gods. Here we go. Um, I bought a bag by z -Packs. It's a great company and it's a great product, but it too left me wanting. How so? You wouldn't think a pack liner would be such a, a sticking point, but the fact of the matter is that every time you open your pack to load or unload, you have to deal with your liner. And not to mention, it's a critical piece of gear you really don't want to see fail. So what's quote unquote wrong with the uh, z Pax Cuban liner? Well, I found myself missing the simplicity of the garbage bag closure system. First off, the garbage bag closure system is no less effective than the roll top dry bags. I prefer it though, not just because it's much easier and quicker to close, but the simple garbage bag system compressed so much better out in the field. So it allows you to better compress your gear and pack. You just grab the excess bag at the top and then just press down until all there is out. You then just grab it, you twist it and a few times and then tuck it down the side of your pack. Done. It's quicker, easier and more compressed than Velcro roll top liners. Um, with the Velcro roll top Cuban bag, it's a bit of a clumsy process. First off, you have Velcro that needs to be closed first. You then have to try to squeeze out all the air while not letting the Velcro reopen, and the Velcro will pop open if you let it. You then have to super quickly roll the excess bag fabric and buckle it before the air re-enters the bag, and the air will partly re-enter the bag while you do this. It's just not that easy you're just not going to end up compressing it as much as you can with a simple bag. On an aside, I also don't love dragging all the delicate material across the uh, rough Velcro um, every time you pull, put stuff in the bag or take it out. It'll affect your gear material. So what was my next strategy? This might be sacrilegious to some, but I purchased a Robic Ripstop liner from Gossamer Gear, and then I cut off the closure system. I couldn't bring myself to cut the Cuban. That's just wouldn't be right. I therefore ended up with a bag that functioned like a trash bag, but was more durable than the compactor bag, plastic. But that isn't the end of my story. Why? Well, for one, I always have one eye open for new products. Guilty. No denying it. Y'all already know that. And two, this hack bag was just a little too short for my liking. And that's when I found a plastic bag liner sold by a little vendor by the name of Lightsmith. Again, link in my video description. Now, what makes this bag so special? First off, it's cheap and light, just like trash compactor bags or the Gossamer Gear plastic bags. A three pack will cost you $7.10, or you can buy just one for $2.49, and weight it's 0.91 ounces each. But most importantly, they are far, far, far tougher than trash compactor bags. It's night and day. You can tell the second you touch it. There's almost no stretch or give to it. It's also worth noting that this material is supposedly far more odor proof than trash compactor bags, for whatever um, that's worth. You see, these Lightsmith bags are made out of a plastic known and sold commercially as Nilofume. What is Nilofume? Well, this plastic was supposedly formulated originally to protect our food and medicine during home fumigations. 
I have my dream pack liner now, I think. Well, that's all the time I need. I hope I gave you something to think about. Subscribe to my channel by clicking the Bungsy logo, and I'll catch you on my next ultralight review on ultralight backpacking. See ya.